I'm very lucky to have found it so early. And well, to find a specialist like Dr. Amran that not only you know was aware of it, but had such a good understanding and educated us. He spent, I mean, well over an hour with us, just educating us on the disease. Our first consultation, and um, it just as her parents, her dad and I just felt like she, we know that she's in the best possible care, and that we were going to try to stop this at an early age so it doesn't progress and mm -hmm. um, you know we've seen that natural progression to stage three and four and it's just really scary it's debilitating and we've already seen it hold her back in her life and so to be able to to be in the care of such a good physician that understands it is just so um, reassuring I just want to add, there's such a lack of awareness I think because like even when we looked it up online we went to our primary care physician and she had no idea what it was mm -hmm. um, we I was at a plastic surgeon we asked them about it he had no idea what it was and he he does liposuction I've lost 100 pounds now and so I've been looking into like um, skin removal surgeries and liposuction and what it's like you know your body definitely changes after losing that amount of weight with the skin shrinking back down it's kind of hasn't caught up yet so um i was curious as far as if i had lipedema so i did talk to dr amron a bit um with my arms and you know you can i honestly am not sure if i have lipedema or not i'm curious to find out but um yeah, I think that it's very, like I said, there's such a lack of awareness that um, a lot of people who are having a really hard time losing weight and maybe, not, you know, like, for example, me, my arms have not, I've not lost weight in them as much as I have everywhere else. There's kind of not as much, like, it, they're out of proportion to the rest of my body. So, um, you know, I wonder if it, if it could be lipedema and if so, you know, at least knowing that would be so reassuring. Um, and I think that due to the lack of awareness a lot of people who are trying to lose weight and it's very frustrating to feel like you know why i'm putting in the work and i you know i'm i'm have a good diet and exercise i'm exercising um and especially with specific areas of the body if you're not losing it can be so frustrating you know, i've had people um you know from emily sharing her story online and through my page and stuff people have messaged me saying you know i think i may have lipedema However, I'm really scared to like reach out to the specialist or my doctor just because I'm afraid of the process of the liposuction and stuff. And the biggest thing that I would say is, you know, if you're going to be afraid of something, be afraid of what it can become. You know, if you have the ability to take control of it now, it, it could save your life. I mean, people get to the point where they can't even walk. So we're really lucky that Emily was able to get it under control now. And definitely, yeah. Round two. Round two. Yeah. <laughs> Arms and calves. Arms yeah. and calves next. Perfect. <laughs>